Hey everyone! So, three things to start off with. First thing is, I'm really sorry, this top is very much too big for me. The shots fall down all the time and it might be kind of messing with your eyes. Uh, number two, my hair is a complete mess today, um, but I'm having it cut in a couple of hours, so just excuse it. Um, also, I'm in a different location. Every single room in my house is just ridiculously like dark today, so I've had to come into my spare room. So ignore the crap that you can see in the mirror just behind me that's underneath the bed. Okay, so you might think I'm a little bit premature doing an autumn haul, but unless you are just not even going in any shops, you'll have noticed that they are just full to the brim with autumn winter clothing now and um, so it's kind of hard to avoid it there is some amazing pieces and i know that we've not really had much of a summer to be honest but leaves have started falling people like there there is actual crispy leaves on the floor so i'm very sorry it's september good for the autumn clothing okay so i'm going to show you what i have got there is a mixture of things from new look dorothy perkins primark and Zara. So I'm just going to go in the order that I bought them really. Final thing I want to point out is I'm sorry if I keep looking up above the camera but I've got a mirror behind my uh, camera so that I can see what I'm actually showing you. Okay so let's go. First thing is a top, a shirt from New Look and it is this amazing khaki coloured, um, it's quite a thick shirt actually and um, I'm just probably going to wear buttons right up to the top, it's got pockets on either side and buttons all the way down the middle, has little like buttoned turn up sleeves as well and I just think that that will just look really cute and nice to like layer with other things as well or like either putting the jumper over top or putting it like open over a dress and like that so it's kind of in between like summer and autumn look so yeah there's that and that was uh, £22.99 the next thing is another thing from New Look and it is this amazing textured jumper it's kind of like a very pale bluey minty kind of colour um, and it has like just really tiny little bobbles all over it um, I just thought with this, I did go up quite a few sizes in it because I thought that it would just look better oversized rather than fitted um, and this was £19.99, I think that would look good either by itself or layered over like that uh, shirt that I just showed you, so yeah, absolutely love that and it's like the coziest, softest thing ever. Then I went to Dorothy Perkins and um, I found in my Grazzi and my Look magazine last week a 25% off voucher for Dorothy Perkins which is just amazing so I went a little bit crazy in there too but really it's kind of staples that I bought so I bought two pairs of jeans I know, well I've got a mixture of one out of the petite section and one out of their normal range and these first ones are the petite Bailey ultra stretch super skinny jeans and um, so they come I think they're about a leg 28 in the petite range um, and they're basically just a really staple black pair of skinny jeans nothing fancy just you know just simple and these were 22 pounds you know without the discount i already have a black pair of skinny jeans from them but they're kind of you know when they fade so much they look a bit grey and a bit patchy so i was desperately in need of some more and i'm sure i will wear those absolutely loads and then the other pair are out of their normal range um, and these are the Harper Skinny Roll Up Jeans. I got these in an 8 short, so they do a short length, a regular length and a long length and these were £26. I think they were just a really nice coloured jean and they have a tiny bit of like distress just on the knee area but not an actual rip um, and I always roll up my jeans anyway so I thought that it was great um, that they're already rolled. They're just a really lovely fit. Um, they kind of have a little bit of like gold detail on the button and the trim around the pockets and perfect lead length for me actually so yeah that's those I also got um, um we'll link it down below anyway a like like a white kind of quilted textured um, top that has sleeves like just kind of up to your elbows and that was only about £16 but I've worn it and it's in the wash at the moment so I'm not going to go bother raking that out but I will link it down below anyway. Then moving on to Primark, 
the first thing that I bought is something that I saw one day when I was in there and I was like, no, I'm just not going to wear that so I'm not going to bother. But you know when something just lingers in your mind for ages and I'm like, I'm not going to stop thinking about it until I get it. Anyway, it was this fedora, which I'll put on to show you what it looks like. Uh, yeah, so I've still not actually even worn this. I love it, but I just don't feel like I can either maybe pull it off or whether I'd actually just look normal wearing it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I just be brave and just wear it? This was only about £7, I think, so if I don't wear it, it's not the end of the world. But yeah, let's, let's take that off now. Then I also picked up this, which I've taken the price off it, but I think it was £17. And it is a black long length uh, duster coat. I know you're not going to be able to see it properly at all on there. And I've turned up the sleeves a little bit because they were just a bit too long for me, like most sleeves are. Um, and it kind of comes down like in between like my knee and my calf. Um, and it's just, it's quite lightweight, so it's not going to be something that's going to be that warm in autumn. But when you have like slightly warmer days and you just want something to throw on that kind of looks quite cool um, yeah, I, I think this is really good. I did kind of like hover over it for a bit like I've had it in my wardrobe with the tag still on for the last few weeks but I was like you know what there's no point in taking this back I think it's one of those things that I would regret if I did take it back um, so I just kept it and I wore it the other day um, it's just a nice easy like throw on piece um, and much cheaper than like the Topshop kind of ones too then <laughs> the next thing from Primark was just a random thing. You know I just can't go to Primark without buying something random. And <laughs> spotted this on the mannequin. This is a Harry Potter Gryffindor t-shirt um, which was in the pyjama section. It's got Harry Potter on the back. And I love at the top that it says Prop Property of Hogwarts and that was only £5. I just thought it would be good just like to wear for bed. Well not even just for bed like when I don't know about you but when it's like dark nights earlier I just like seriously just bit my tongue. Ugh. Um <laughs> I just put pajamas on as soon as I get home. As soon as I get home, take off my work clothes, take my makeup off, get some pajamas on. So these are probably just gonna be like loungewear. So love that. There was like matching like like sweat tops and pajama bottoms, things like that, but I only really like the t shirts so that's all I bought. And then I picked up this which I think I've pulled it already, which is really shit. Um, a really long length um, fine knitted cardigan. It's in like a grey mix material. Um, and again, the, you'll be able to see this better in the cutaway shot. It is a very, very, very long um, cardigan. Kind of almost down to like my calves really. And it just hangs open. And it is very, very lightweight. You can see how much you can like see through it. Um, but again, I just thought this would be nice for when it stays, when it's not like too cold and you just want something to throw on that just looks like just quite cool and trendy really, like to jazz up a little simple outfit um, and it probably look nice like layered up even as it gets a bit colder like with more knitwear on top of it and that was only £8 so why not? Then the next two things, you might think I'm a bit hasty on but Primark are filled up with like cuts already and there is some really really nice ones and I think you just with these things when you see them you have to just get it when it's there regardless of whether you'd actually be wearing it yet because you'll wear it and then think oh I really wanted that and go back for it it just doesn't exist anymore so I got this right now and it's two winter coats Um, yes two now the first one that I saw is this, it's not very long in the length, um, it's kind of like a cocoon shape, it has no collar um, and a nice like gold exposed zip down the middle and two little pockets. So yeah, so for every like winter coat I definitely think that you should have like one statement coat and then one classic coat that just goes with everything. That's just like my personal opinion but I don't mind spending just like little amounts on them as well rather than, you know, like I did invest in a really expensive one a couple of years ago from Zara um, and I have actually like worn it to death so it was really worth it but these days I just get bored so easily that I prefer to just like hop from one to another really. Um, so these aren't massively like thick and warm to be honest. Um, I, they are definitely more of an autumn coat than a winter coat because um, I can't imagine it keeping you massively warm um, in winter but they're fine just for now and they were only £25 so 
yeah, I, I don't mind that. I love its textured effect as well. It kind of has a bit of a like bobbly effect, like the jumper that I showed you from New Look 2. And then my second coat is just literally the exact same one, but in black. Um, just again with the gold exposed zip down the middle, and I just loved it. I just just think it's perfect. And um, all I can tell though really is that this kind of textured effect is really, really just gonna like pick up all of anything. Like all of the colour off the other coat is all over this one already. So I think I'm gonna need a roller with that one. Then the last item is something I am very excited about. I've been using it loads already and it is a new handbag. It has actually been featured on my Instagram as well and some of you guys are saying how much you loved it. And oh, it's, it's stuck, it's stuck to something. It's this one from Zara. I originally went to go pick it up in the black version, but I just have so many black bags and I was like, well, I don't want to be all, as much as I love like monochrome, I don't want to be all drab and boring um, like this year. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll just go for it in this colour as well. It kind of reminded me of the um, Givenchy one as well. Is it Givenchy? I might be totally wrong right there. But it reminded me of a designer bag anyway, this gorgeous dusky pink. And um, so it has kind of like suede effect sides here that stick out ever so slightly. And then like knotted handles. It also has a long strap with it too, which I wanted to use. But I always do tend to have quite a lot of crap in my bag. And I'll, you'll notice if you are hanging like this, it really does put a lot of pressure on the um, fabric inside. And I think it'll just rip. So I'm not really going to bother too much with that. Um, it has some really nice like gunmetal hardware on the inside. And the strap is detachable anyway. But I quite like having it just like dangling down like this. And then the best part of all, which suits me anyway, is people get so mad with me. Like my mum and <laughs> just everyone for not closing up my bag like I just don't close it because I know that I need to quickly get in there to get things out so <laughs> people are like people are just gonna steal things from you so this is the perfect solution yes it looks like it's closed right now but it just has two little like magnetic clasps on the top here to seal it up so I don't even have to try and close it you literally once you put it like this onto your arm it just clips closed by itself what a winner and then inside, it's filled with my junk anyways, but it's just got like uh, three little sections in the back here to put your bits and bobs in. I've just got like my bus pass in at the moment. And then the rest of it's just empty. Um, it's kind of like, uh, I can't think of the word. I want to say see something inside. I don't, I don't even know what the word is that I'm looking for, so I'm just going to give up. But yeah, I just think it's really beautiful, and this was $39.99. I know with the colour that it's just going to get absolutely filthy really quick like it is already, but whatever. You know I'm just going to end up going and getting it in the black anyway. Okay, so I'm going to dash because my camera keeps running out of storage and it's just going to cut off again in a second. Please subscribe if you're new, please like it if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching, bye! Yeah, I just absolutely love the colour of this, like it's ready oranginess, I just think that you definitely need to have like, uh, am I in focus? Am I in focus? I don't think I am in focus.